Hello, I'm Dr. Daniel Cottom, and I'm here today representing the Bariatric Medicine Institute. And today we're going to try to answer the question that many patients have after surgery. Is it okay to drink soda after surgery? And if so, which ones? And if not, what can I do instead? And so I'm asked this question all the time as my role as a bariatric surgeon. And the question isn't as simple as it sounds, and it's not a yes or no answer. But I just want to stop and go back and delve into some of the basic physiology and talk really quickly about when we mentioned soda. And I'm going to say, instead of just saying soda, I'm going to say all flavored drinks that could uh, be like the Mio's and the uh, other various flavored waters that they have in there. And so when we look at the, all these various flavored waters, whether it's soda or diet soda, what they all have in common is one of three things. They have some type of artificial sweetener, whether it's Splenda, Neutral Sweet, or Saccharin, or some other artificial sweetener. And the basic physiology is that whenever you put more of this artificial sweetener into your body, if you're susceptible to it, what happens is these artificial sweeteners, since they're not digested, ended up going to the colon. And in the colon, or your large intestine, what happens is in the colon, it causes increased bacterial counts. Now, this is very interesting because these, essentially, drugs increase bacterial counts. And the interesting thing about that is with these increased bacterial counts in the colon of certain types of bacteria, what happens is, is they make insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is something that causes weight gain before you have surgery and it slows down your weight gain or weight loss after you have surgery. So it's important to remember that anytime you consume artificial sweeteners, you're causing insulin resistance. Now, what I tell my patients is that if you are a person who's having a sleeve gastrectomy done, your weight loss operation, meaning the sleeve gastrectomy, usually isn't powerful enough on its own if you're drinking these things to overcome the insulin resistance that's an inherent part of these artificial sweeteners. And so in general, it's bad to drink artificial sweeteners when you've had a sleeve gastrectomy. Most patients will come up to me and say, Dr. Cotton, I've stopped out all my carbonated drinks. The truth is that carbonated drinks aren't the problem. If the carbonation is not the problem, it's the artificial sweeteners. Now right after your surgery, meaning the first month or two, when your stomach is so tight after either a duodenal switch or a sleeve gastrectomy, the artificial sweeteners and the carbon dioxide, especially the carbon dioxide, will make your stomach hurt, meaning that expansion will make your new small stomach hurt. But the truth is that when we look at this, we are so concerned about these three things and the insulin resistance. And so I always tell sleep gastrectomy patients, no. But when we're talking about duodenal switch patients, usually those patients have enough metabolic changes associated with the surgery that they do not, this doesn't really matter, and they can drink the diet sodas and still get away with it. And so that's just a brief overview. So in general, sleep gastrectomy, no. Duodenal switch most of the times, yes. And we just have to see how you go with it. So if you're drinking lots of artificial sweeteners and you're gonna find your weight loss isn't where you wanna be, the thing to do is get rid of the insulin resistance by getting rid of the artificial sweeteners. I hope this is a, a simple overview of why artificial sweeteners and what they do and how they work on your body to slow your weight loss down or prevent weight loss. And this works whether you've had surgery or not. I'm Dr. Daniel Cotton at the Bariatric Med Medicine Institute. Please give us a call if you're interested in weight loss surgery or you wish to know more about some of these topics we've discussed today. Thanks. Have a good day.